the dreaming, all the birds were brightly coloured. During this time, the cocky and the crow shared one husband, the hawk. Being an elder in the community, you're yeah, having that pride. We're the role models and people yeah. get to know who you are and you're on show all the time and yeah, you've just got to be proud are. of who we you are. are. Good. Yeah, and you have to be good. Yeah, you do. You can't go out and misbehave. Eh? No. no, you've got to be on good behaviour. Yeah. <laughs> We grew up at Muckland, the Holland Park. Holland Park, yeah. No, I reckon education had a lot to do with it. Education had a yeah. lot to do with it. Mum and Dad ensured that we all went to school. We used to call ourselves yeah. a Black Brady Bunch, eh? Yeah. Because <laughs> we had um, three boys and three girls. Three girls too, yes. Yeah. At Holland Park, there was a lot of Aboriginal families, hey? Yeah, it was. From all over the place, so it was, it was good growing up with other Aboriginal families in the area. But we, um, we got on well with everyone. Dad was from Bow Desert, he's a Mullinjali man. And Mum was from, she grew up in Sherberg, but originally her family were um, Birigaba, just outside of Townsville. Great, great, great uh, grandfather, Bill and Villain, was known as King of the Logan. So Dad said, we're princesses. But that could have just been Dad calling us princesses too. Yeah. So. <laughs> we all used to laugh at them. Yeah, we did, hey. Yeah, but we are we are royalty. We are royalty. In the Aboriginal way. Hmm. Mum was under the Act, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, but Dad wasn't, hey. No, Dad wasn't. No, Mum was under the Act, but Dad wasn't. He was free. He was free. When so. they come to get the kids, they hid. They yeah. hid the children. They hid the children. See, Dad was from Bow Desert, and um, when they went looking for the kids, they all hid. Like mum was in a dormitory. Yeah. Yeah, in Sherberg. Yeah. She couldn't just go and do whatever she wanted, she wanted to, do. to do. She couldn't leave Sherberg. No. So she had to get permission, hey. Yeah. So it was and like, to go back and visit. And to go back and visit. Like once she left Sherberg, she had to get permission to go back and visit her family. They sent them out to work. They sent them out to work, yeah. And they were twelve. Yeah, mum was twelve when she was sent out to work. She was moved from Sherberg down to Brisbane, so and put on the bus by herself. Yeah. She tried to live a normal life, but deep down she was really, really scared. Mum was just scared of me, I think it would not take us away. Oh yeah, she was always scared that you'd get yeah. taken away. She used to make sure the house was clean and tidy in case anyone turned up, you know, any of the protectors turned up or, or whoever, government people. And yeah, that's right. The house was just spotless. We told not to stir up trouble. Yeah, not to stir up trouble, eh? Because yeah, I think us, mum was so scared. Come on. And, you know, we did the right thing. We went to school. We did all, you know, it was just a, a thing that went through our whole life. The most important thing was mum and dad wanted us to be yeah. educated and that's our passion, Arlene yeah. and I, our family is very yeah. educated. Arlene went to teacher's college when you were, yeah. how old were 38. you? 38. So she went as a mature age student and became a teacher. Yeah. And I found my way into education so I'm a teacher aide now. But I also work um, just going into schools and giving talks about our culture because a lot of people want to know about our Aboriginal culture now, and we want our children to learn. We want to give them that opportunity. Yeah. The magical Kingfisher. Kingfisher. In the dreaming, learn part of the magical Kingfisher. When he was at school, when he played cricket. And if we can teach our children that history, goodness knows what they'll get from that, so yeah. you know, we've got to teach them the right history. That's right. It's not yeah. a blame game, just let them know what happened. They have to know the achieved. truth. Yep, they have to know the truth, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yep. our kids have to know the history to them. Hmm. So if we can do that, yeah. it's a job well done, isn't it? Yeah, it's yes. your job well done. Yeah. It's something you deserve from the rest. Yeah. Yep, yeah, family is very important. We should all stick together yeah, as a family. 
Yes. And they must learn to do respect us. And they learn to respect us. Yes. Yeah, and acknowledge what they did. And acknowledge what they did. Yeah. 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 But kids get that education, hey? Yeah. That's the most important thing. That's what we want our yeah. kids to be educated. And kids tell their daddy. Uh, and kids be with their families, hey? And tell their daddy the truth. And tell their families the truth, yep? Yeah. Yep. Be truthful. So if we can instill in them who they are, yeah. That's all our job is done. Yeah. Mm. So where's our country? In Newcombe. In Newcombe, that's right. And what did you say you were a princess of? Eugenbear. Eugenbear. And what school do you girls go to? Eugenbear. I know, isn't that amazing that the country that we're from you have a school in the same name. You're so lucky. Mm.